Hey, curl friends, it's Robin. Of course, y'all know me as the Millennial Curl Expert. I am excited to, first of all, introduce you all to my new life. I have designed this life, and I want to teach you all today with this episode on YouTube how to design your life. The life that serves your most authentic self, the life that is the best version of yourself, the life that you get up every day and you're like, this, this, is, this is why I get up every day. This, this helps me to get up every day. That life, your dream life. And so I'm excited to share with you all today five tips or you know, five of my secret hacks of how do you design your best life. Number one, you have to do the inner work, okay, as an entrepreneur. You gotta figure out who you are because in this journey of entrepreneurship, people are gonna test you. You gotta have the confidence to get behind the camera and really speak to your audience and speak to them in an authentic way. They don't want to see a perfect person. They don't wanna see um, somebody who's trying to be somebody else. They wanna see you. People wanna know who you are. And guess what? When you figure out who you are, that is the second that people will fall in love with you and your journey as an entrepreneur. So, you know, what that really looks like is self-work, inner work. For me, that meant figuring out, you know, astrology. What's my sign? Personality. I did an African um, ancestry DNA test on both sides to figure out biologically who am I? Who am I? Because in this country, when it comes to us knowing who we are and having a very clear sense of identity, that has, that has not been clear. And so for you to really show up in the world and figure out who it is that you are and show up as the best version of yourself, you need to know biologically who you are. Your horoscope, like your personality, your ego, how is it that you show up? For me, I'm a Pisces. My moon sign is in Taurus. Um, you know, I can be very dreamy, but at the same time, that earth kind of grounds me. And so, you know, when I'm doing my meditations or, you know, I'm working out, a lot of this stuff helps. When you know yourself, it helps with your level of productivity. You know, when you don't know yourself and you haven't taken that time to do the inner work, you're going to struggle with being productive. You're going to struggle with just creating a vision for yourself. Most entrepreneurs don't talk about this, but there is a fear of, you know, lack of confidence. There is, um, you know, just fear of rejection. There's been so many times where I've heard no. Um, and you would be surprised like how much, you know, self-doubt, that critical voice, because a lot of that stuff that, you know, keeps you back from really stepping into your star energy is things that you experienced in your childhood. And so once you start to heal those parts of yourself that you've been suppressing for so long, then you can start to step into your star energy. Then you can be the person and the entrepreneur that you want to be. Then you can live your dream life. And then you can design your dream life. And so it all comes down to knowing who you are. Do the self-work. Do the inner work as an entrepreneur. This job is probably one of the hardest jobs you can do. And it's because people aren't willing to do that work, that inner work. It takes a lifetime to journey through it. But everybody has the call, but not everybody's going to answer. So are you going to be the person that answers? I think you should be. I am. I'm answering my call to step into my purpose, to step into my star energy, and to design my best life and to become the best version of myself. So I really want you all to do the same as well. Once you all do this, this, this groundwork, it's like you laying the foundation to the house. We putting the cement down. Y'all know I'm in real estate. We putting the cement down, okay, before we start building frames so you can have a solid foundation. Know who you are. And step two, marrying your skills with your passions and then birthing a business. And so when you do those two things, you're going to birth the thing that you came here to do. Okay, so we're gonna go into the basic first principles of you know, entrepreneurship and just creating a business. Of course, your first step is going to be to create a product or a service that solves a person's problem. Um, once you do that, and, and let me just take a step back. Solve your problem first. If it's something out here that you see that is wrong or you just want a better product or service, Start with that. 
because you're gonna be super passionate about solving your own problems. And when you solve your own problems, you're gonna solve other people's problems. And so that's what happened with me in the salon and you know, becoming a curl specialist. I didn't have a curl specialist to do my coily hair. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go to hair school and I'm gonna learn how to do my hair. And I'm gonna open up a salon that specializes in curly hair. And I'm gonna learn how to cut curly hair. And that's how the whole diva curl thing came about. And so my point of saying all this is to solve your own problems and create a business that does that. Um, let's just go into the first you know, principles of building a business. The first thing that you want to do is get a LLC. You want to get incorporated, and you want to separate that business from yourself personally. So whichever route you decide to go with, whether it's an LLC, whether it's a partnership, whether it's sole proprietorship, whether it's an S Corp, B Corp, C Corp, once you do that, you need to um, get you an EIN number um, you know, from the IRS.gov, um, but also you know, further along in your journey, your entrepreneurial journey, you want to get an accountant. I'm not an accountant or a lawyer, so, you know, I'm just giving you the bare basics, first principle. Um, but those are the things that you want to do. You want to incorporate. You want to get you an EIN number, which is an employee's identification number. And it's pretty much like your social security number for your business. Next thing that you want to get, a business checkings account. Um, those are really the first three things that you honestly and truly need to do when it comes to business. I'll create another video later on explaining those things in further detail. The fourth step is building your community. You got to get in front of your perfect audience, your perfect customer, your perfect person. If you don't do that, you're going to be talking upon deaf ears. And I want to be the first to tell you when you build your community, your brand is going to have a lot to do with that. The aesthetics of, you know, really how things look, um, you know, really you stepping into and being your authentic self. All of that stuff is going to play a part in this fourth, you know, step. People, they don't really care about looks as much as you think they do. They really want to resonate with what you say. And so they want to hear your story. They want connection. They want engagement. And so make sure that when you're building your community, while you have an eye for the details of like how your brand looks, how you package your services and your products to people, know that at the core of what people want, they want connection. They want um, value. And so make sure when you're building this community that you keep those things in mind. And most importantly, be yourself. Be your most authentic self. Tell these folks the truth. OK, um, because they want to hear the truth. They really want you to help them solve their problems. And uniquely enough, the way everything works out here, I feel like you're the only person that can solve someone else's problem. Nobody else can solve that problem like you can solve it. The fifth and final step of designing your best life, what you need to do, you guys, is scale. OK, you're going to get to a point in your entrepreneurial journey where it is too much for one person to do. So you're going to have to outsource the work. OK, it is, and, you know, especially in the African-American community, we can burn out. We can overwork ourselves, overextend ourselves to the point where it affects the customer service. Right. It affects the brand experience. And so, you know, we, you have to really kind of get smart about how you outsource. If my genius isn't marketing, I need to hire somebody whose genius is marketing, okay? If my genius, my creative genius is not finances, I need to hire an accountant. And so just think about these things, you guys, you know, as you start to grow and scale as an entrepreneur, I hit a plateau, you know, right after the pandemic where I was just burnt out. I was like, whoa. Like I actually had a second, you know, after it was three months after we were, you know, shut down, the salons were shut down for three months. I was like, wow. I actually got a chance to like kind of recover from just being emotionally burnt out, energetically burnt out, and physically burnt out from being behind the chair. And so this pandemic, you guys, is it's not by mistake on a couple of different levels. But personally just know that um, this has been a time the last two years, you know, for us to really sit down with ourselves. It's been a self, um, what, did, what did someone call it? Uh, um, self, 
uh, mandated meditation. That everybody had to sit with themselves and figure out how they were going to move forward. You literally had to sit down and figure out what, how can you create the best life for yourself. Just think about those five things when it comes to designing your best life. I can promise you the things that I've shared with you today is firsthand the things that I've been through. And I can talk with you with such conviction and trust because I've been through this already. And I'm gonna tell you exactly what you need to sit down and learn so that you don't have to go through the same stuff that I went through, spinning my wheels for years, trying to figure out how to make this work, how to get this engine going. And so you can cut like three or four years off of your, you know, learning curve, essentially, just based off of listening to people who has already journeyed through this. And so those are my five tips. So y'all made it to the end. I am so excited for your entrepreneurial journey and you designing your best life and becoming the best version of yourself. Once you've done all five of these steps, literally, your, your lifestyle will become inspirational and inspiration for other people. And so, you know, y'all know my mantra, create and contribute. And everything that I'm doing, I'm creating and I'm contributing. And always remember to step into your star energy. Don't dim your light for nobody. Show up as the best version of yourself and shine. Make sure you click that like button if anything in this video resonated with you. Um, and subscribe. Tell your friends to subscribe, share. Let's all, you know, build our best lives. Let's all design our best lives because, you know, I don't want to be at the top by myself. I need, I need my friends, okay? So y'all make sure y'all subscribe to my channel. Um, let's go on the office tour. I'm going to show y'all the office space, um, this commercial building. Um, welcome to the world of commercial real estate.